You can use short-term rentals to get around the real estate professional guidelines and write off your non-passive losses. If done properly, you can directly offset from your ordinary income, like from your job, without the real estate professional status. This is because under section 469 of the tax code, if you rent a property with an average stay of seven days or less on average, this is a short-term rental. And if that's true, you don't have rental activity, which is considered passive by the IRS. This means you don't have to qualify as a real estate professional and do the whole 750 hours a year rule to recategorize that activity from passive to active, though you still do have to materially participate in the business. So this allows you to use your short-term rental for non-passive losses. This is what you want because non-passive losses can offset your non-passive income or your earned income. And if you're a high income earner or just need more tax write-offs to pay less in taxes, then STRs can be a good addition to keep more of what you make.